Today we are going to do some testing on this Renogy 100 watt flexible, probably useless to me panel. And we're going to use the beloved Sateki 500. <laughs> now seeing as though this is a flat panel, the only real use case that I can see in its native state is to have it on top of a roof or a teardrop trailer or something like that. So we're going to have this dip just on the ground. I do want to point out that these terminals or whatever, these connections, they go out to the other side, which is understandable, but it's weird because in a situation where you have multiple panels, you can kind of put them in series, I guess, next to each other a little bit better with this kind of outward facing instead of a typical like going that way connection. But there's even some faulty logic in that because if you end up with two or three panels, then your connection will have to wire out a little wider. But even still, that's just problems we deal with with solar panels, you know what I mean? Thug life. It does appear to have an ETF E coating on it. It does have some very small grommet holes on it, which I think is interesting. You would think these would be a little bit bigger. Let me show you a size comparison with a rigid panel real quick. Now, in fairness to this device, I did compare it in my... uh short to the energy eclipse panel which is a little bit smaller than the renergy standard 100 watt it's still bigger than a rigid panel which is understandable i suppose what i'm starting to wonder is maybe this thing is more powerful than these panels because they know it's gonna lay flat so it has to be larger to try and get the 100 watts rating um, or they give you better output. I don't know, but let's test it. Actually, I want to do another. Let me grab another panel. Hold on. Now, let's put this in perspective. This is the X-Star 100 watt panel compared to the Renogy 100 watt flex panel. This one's folding. So they're about the same size. So I think in actuality, this may not actually be a good test. So what I'm probably going to do is maybe grab the Oops, the Wapes, or even the Akatel. The Akatel will be a good test because it maxes out at like 110 or something like that so i may use that one it has a weird barrel plug too but you know stop wasting time let's get to it mc4 to 5521 and i'm gonna adapt it to whatever this weirdo takes 6.3 something i also have here my renergy mc4 tool and my kershaw whatever this is in case i need to perform some surgery on these freaking corners here <laughs> Because if you shave these edges down a little bit with a knife, then they come out a little bit easier. So sometimes I have to do that to get them out because the tool doesn't work and my fingertips suck. <laughs> Even though I have decent nails. Anyway, let's see if my little tip that I need is down here. I can see that green. So it is. Oh, that's what I need right there for this Alcatel. We all connected up. This dip is getting 42 watts. Now I'm going to try this one next. And compare it to that one and i'm gonna try to do it relatively quickly actually i have the benefit of having more than one of these cables it's not the same but i'll just go grab another cable so i don't have to keep unplugging these mc4 cables the sun conditions are similar they're not the same because i had to go and change the freaking get the new cable so let's see what we got here we're getting about 31 it's a little tight i'm sorry about that 32, 33, 34, 35. My bad. I, I mean, the cable is just super short. Super short. Okay, so I'm going to unplug this quickly while this is pretty much doing 35. And pop this in and see what it's going to do. 34? I cannot see that screen at all. <laughs> 36, 36, 36. So laying flat. This is producing 35. This is producing 34 interesting you know what do you do with that what i am gonna do is wait until it gets a little brighter the sun is a little more pronounced this is kind of what you could expect in your early morning sun it's about 8 30 my time and these are the conditions of the sun right now so you can see that it's not super uh bright outside but the sun is shining and they're both giving you about 35 watts i cannot test that one over there the x-star because it defaults to eight millimeter and I can't do anything with that. Although it does have, I do believe it has an eight millimeter to MC4 adapter. X-Star accessories, man. Love accessories. What I am gonna do is wait until the sun is a little brighter to resume testing, so stay tuned. Bruh, we finally got some sun out here in these streets. So let's do some real testing. 
I'm the real puff daddy. Decided to grab another green tip. I got all these tips, man. Why not just make the whole testing a little more seamless? So now I'll have two with the dips. Hey guys. All right, first up, Flex Monster. Oh, look at that. 82 watts. I can dig that. <laughs> Oh, it's important to note that these have been sitting out here this whole time. None's been put away or anything like that. All right, let's try the rigid Renogi. What does that say, 83? 82, 83. Just for the sake of testing, let's get that X-Star back out here with its adapter and let's test. Now, in the spirit of fairness, this X-Star has been in the garage chilling. So it's not gonna be as hot. Now that one's fresh. Whew. Like everybody's saying, man, the X star out here beast molding. Laying flat, getting 100 watts, 98, 99. Right now, the sun is largely overhead. And that one's beating everybody. 98, 82, 83. Now I feel like it wouldn't be right not to test the Renergy Eclipse because this one has panels that are similar to that one. What do they call them? Sun power cells. Now we're trying the Renergy Eclipse, which has been sitting out in the sun all of this time as well. Let's see what it does. 88 at the moment. So at this moment, we have the spread 88 here, 98 here, 82 there, and 83 there. Let's talk a little bit about these prices because, and what I paid for them. This was probably like $100 or on a crazy sale for 65. I got this one for 110. It's normally like 160. I got this one that was sent to me by the company, but it costs like 269 or something like that. That panel is usually 199, but I got it for like 150 on sale. I mean, you look at this getting 88, 98, 82, and 83. I, you know, I don't, I don't know what to make of that. Y'all make what y'all want of that. You know what I mean? I think I am gonna keep this one just to put it out here and to use it day in and day out. Oh. 